Our goal here is to make a worksheet for vector functions of curves. So, new worksheet. Type in vector function of curves. Rename. We'll click in the first Sage field here. Now let's go and see our page for this. Here's our wiki page for vector functions of curves in Sage. This link here will take you to a Sage page with a whole bunch of examples for vector functions of curves. Your basic is that a vector function of a curve has one parameter. Usually we name it t, but you can name it anything you want. Vector functions can have one, but they're not very interesting, two, which makes it a 2D curve, three, which makes it a 3D curve, or more components, but you can't grab it. And the key thing, notice that I repeat this twice with big letters because I always forget, is that you must use double parentheses to define the vector function. What are the steps? Declare your variable, define the function, use double parentheses, and then use parametric plot to plot it. So here's our first example, a vector function with two components, and thus a 2D plot. And copy this Sage stuff right there, Control C, come into our page. We're clicked in there, so just hit Control V. So there's our declaration, vector with the two parentheses around it. Notice it has two components, one comma. The X component is T, and the Y component is T squared. So we would expect this to graph y equals x squared. And the most simple plot is just parametric plot, and then the name of your vector function, r, and then the range of your parameter, so t from minus 2 to 2 here. Now we're going to make this smaller because it won't fit on our page here. So we're going to click before the final parenthesis, add a comma, and write fig size 3. The default is 4. Okay, so we're ready. Evaluate. Let's scroll down a little bit so it can make it in the picture. And there we go. And it looks like y equals x squared because it was a 2D plot of a very simple function where we just declared x equal to t and y equal to t squared. Okay, let's go back to our page. If we scroll down here, we have an example here of a vector function with three components and automatically a 3D plot. We're starting as if it's a new page. Maybe you just want to do this, so we're going to put the declaration of the parameter there. Copy it and come back to our page. So we're pasting in these commands. So we're declaring our variable. r is equal to vector, double parentheses. The x component is sine of t, the y component is cosine of t, and the z component is t. And this is a curve in 3D. Parametric plot. You just name your function again, just like above. You give your range. Here it's from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. Here we've said we want it to be purple. And when you're working with curves, you can decide your thickness of the curve. So you can change that. Thickness changes depending on the figure size and the aspect ratio. And aspect ratio here, we've declared it to be 3, 3, 1, which means we're smooshing on the z-axis. And again, we're going to type in fig size. Notice we didn't leave a blank. That's OK. 3, and evaluate. Let's scroll down here. And we get our helix. And 3D plots can be manipulated. 3D plots can be clicked and dragged. So you can see that it's a circle when you would project it. And if you want it to come back to what it was, you have to click back in here and reevaluate it. So this is how to define and graph a vector function of a curve in SAGE.